on this project we are eliminating the oil cooler just because it's kind of fugly and this is not an RT anymore it's going to be a naked bike in order to do that you need the old style oil filter cover as we see these are different you have this long tube in the center which will prevent the old style cover from going on there. What we need to do is remove that tube and install one of these stubby little tubes in here. There is your part number 11111263342. I think these are $8 or something. And now you're going to ask, well, how the fuck do I get the tube out? There seems to be nothing online about removing these except that they've just been removed and replaced. You can use this or a screwdriver or whatever. Just unscrew it. It's not welded in. I don't believe it has any Loctite on it. That's it, we're out. Getting this one in might be a little bit more of a challenge. I think we'll start with some really long needle nose and then we can finish up with, actually this will reach in there in stages. So that's it, next we go to the needle nose pliers. Look at those long orange handled ones. Go that way or insert it in. There you go. Since this cameraman sucks, the fucking camera right in the way. Threading in nicely, no issues. It. We just need something to just give that a little snug. Not going to reef it down really hard, just a little bit, and that will complete this portion of the job. I would also like to point out the difference. This is a non oil cooler filter. You'll notice you have rubber on each end. This is the oil cooler filter, no rubber on the outside end rubber on the inside. You'll also notice that these are considerably different in length. Non-oil cooler on the left, oil cooler on the right. If, if, you, if you have a tech that uh, perhaps isn't paying attention you would hope they would not, they would realize that if they replace this filter and they put an oil cooler filter in because duh, it's an R100RT um, and then they tried to put the cover on that they would realize that it doesn't fucking fit and not just mash it in with a mallet but mm, who the hell knows anyway documented date mileage slide that in there and notice how it sets right in and we are still going to have to use the metal shim and the o-ring wipe that o-ring off the metal shim is fine hey
and then we can get this old style cover on and then we're gonna put the oil pan back on which has been cleaned we have a lot more work to do but hopefully uh, this thing's done in the next couple of days